Wam kom je ze alle kooloi mla je hou baas hem jou was zij. Maar gaan simmer ga haak dash. Dat we to our apostles and elders a great millstone. Who do real well. They bought a spirit, taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to the Akim. And Akwath that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To the best of their ability. Jachananawa. It's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, this is a military CBS. China defends intercepting U.S. destroyer in Taiwan Strait. Now, <laughs> you know this place is falling off, man, when, they, when countries are doing shit like this to America. You, these countries never would have done nothing like that to um, America a decade ago or so. Right? Okay, let me see. This video don't seem to be going to play here, but anyway, we could just read it out. China's defense minister defended sailing the warship across the path of an American destroyer and Canadian frigate transiting the Taiwan Strait, telling a gathering of some of the world's top defense officials in Singapore on Sunday that such freedom of navigation patrols are a provocation to China. So the stuff that America been doing all along, these countries are like, nah, 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 we're going we're gonna to cut that shit out. We're just going to be consequences. Okay, it says the, uh, the Chinese warship intercepted the USS Chung-Hung and the HMCS Montreal on Saturday as they transitioned, transited the strait between the self-governed island of Taiwan, which China claims as its own territory, and mainland China. The Chinese vessel overtook the American ship and then veered across its bow bow at a, a distance of 150 yards in an unsafe ma manner. The U.S. guided, or the U.S. guided missile st destroyer slowed to 10 knots to avoid collision. In his first international public address since the becoming defense minister in March, General Li Shang Fu told the Shanghai La Dialogue that China doesn't have any problems with innocent passage, but that we must prevent attempts that try to use those freedoms of navigation patrols that innocent passage to exercise hegemony of the of navigation the u.s defense secretary lloyd austin which you know this is a so-called black man i think told the same forum saturday that washington would not flinch in the face of bullying or co coercion from china and would continue regularly sailing through and flying over the taiwan strait and south china sea to emphasize they are international waters countering beijing's sweeping territorial Claims. The U.S. has said the Chinese J-16 fighter jet late last month performed an unnecessary aggressive maneuver while intercepting a U.S. Air Force reconnaissance um, aircraft over the South China Sea, flying directly in front of the plane's nose. Those and previous incidents have raised concerns of the possible accident occurring that could lead to the escalation between the two nations at a time when tensions are already high. See, Lee suggested the U.S. and his allies had created the danger. And should instead and should instead should focus on taking good care of your own territorial airspace and waters see and that's that's true but we, we of course you know that's not going to happen why because america don't mind their fucking business and they everywhere that's why that scripture talks about um him being in other lands you know roughly, roughly paraphrasing and just running out through you know throughout the uh the earth just you know fucking with people man <laughs> i mean just just to be straight up let's see if we can find that scripture it's lucky. Uh, let's get. Uh, I'm gonna start from the top on uh, Habakkuk, chapter two, verse one. Let me start there at the top. Get some little context here. It says, "I will stand upon my watch, and set set me upon the tower, and will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved." And Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run run that readeth it." For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And see, we're, we're at this point of these, these prophecies coming to pass. This was uh, a long time ago, but now these, these prophecies are starting to speak. These prophecies are coming to pass out here, in the, right in this modern day time. It says, um, and not lie. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. See? And it seems like, you know, I was speaking on that yesterday at camp, 
where you know every microsecond you know people not looking at the fact that every single second that goes by minute goes by hour two hours three hours four hours days months that go by you're getting just that much close to the destruction of this place man these prophecies are going to come to pass they will not tarry they're going to come to pass man verse four says behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by faith yea yeah also because he transgressed it by wine this is the point that i wanted to get he is a proud man neither keepeth that home who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to whom and to to him that laden himself with thick clay and that thick clay is going off into all this damn debt that america is into here you go you steady trying to raise the debt ceiling You're steady trying to kick the can down the road instead of handling your business i mean come on man but anyway the point that i wanted to make was they're not keepers at home and this is what this man has just said let me get that back what he said again it says um lee suggested the u.s and his allies had created a danger and should instead should focus on taking care of their own international airspace and waters because they're not going to allow nobody to fly over america they're not about to allow any of these countries to you know um set up shop and just be in a damn navy ship and floating all by san francisco or in new york or you know any of these oceans and they're just right outside of um, um, um america 15 20 miles out just you know they're not about to allow that shit come on man we 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 all know that so they're you know they're actually hypocrites it says the best way is for the countries especially the naval vessels and fighter jets of countries not to do closing actions around other countries territories he said through an interpreter what's the point of going there in china we always say mind your own business <laughs> come on man you know hey these damn americans we just read the scripture that's how we know that these scriptures man are true and, and, and who is being recognized here? These are the traits of the Edomites, the so-called white man. This man is not satisfied with nothing. He has damn near the whole entire globe. He wants it all, though. He doesn't want anybody else to be living here and in peace, man. He wants to be in control of it all. And that's the reason why he's going to come down with great wrath and, and try and um, fucking implant every damn body. Okay, it says um, in a wide ranging, ranging speech. Lee reiterated many of Beijing's well-known positions, including its claim on Taiwan, calling it the core of our core interests. He accused the U.S. and others of meddling in China's internal affairs by providing Taiwan with defense support and training, conducting high-level diplomatic um, visits. And that's where we talk about the scripture goes off into um, the Lord. Let's get that in Proverbs. The Lord don't like nobody, man, that, that causes discord, man, among brethren. Because those Taiwanese people and the so-called Chinese people, those are the same people. But the Lord, but 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 Esau, Edom, have them against each other. It's the same with South, South Korea and North Korea. Same people. But the U.S. got them against each other. You see what I'm saying? That's causing discord among brethren, man. And, 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 and Esau is known for that, man. He's notorious for that. This is Proverbs chapter 6. Let me start at verse 12. It says, A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a forward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness or perverseness is in his heart. Basically, that's what that's going into, man. This man is perverse as hell. Frowardness is in his heart. He divides mischief continually. He he soweth discord. This is this is the so-called white man. This is the wicked. This is what the wicked do. And then they'll get on TV and act as if they love everybody and let's get together. We, you know, we, you know, let's let's save the earth. Let's save the world. Let's save the earth. But they're the ones that's destroying it. And they're causing discord among brethren all over the place. Now they're wondering why they're being so separated. That's the reason why America is divided. And the scripture says that a kingdom divided cannot stand. That's the reason why you circle fall like I was falling. And, and you know why it's, you can tell it's falling? Because you got other countries that's making direct threats at America like, fuck you. <laughs> because before, like I said again, you never would have heard of um, any of these countries doing the, the stuff that they're doing and talking about the U.S. like how they're talking about the U.S. You know what I'm saying? And I do, you know. Okay, it says, um, verse 14 again, 
frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity, see? Hey, this is coming to pass. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. See that? This place is going to be broken without remedy. It's already in play. Here you go. You got the president of the United States. He can't even stay on his damn feet. He's out here. He done fell and tumbled over. And every time he, they tum he tumbles over, the news just, you know, or, or at least the, the, the international news stations, they be going in on this shit. See, America, they try and hide some of it. But these Republicans, they love it. They be clapping, applauding. This old senile, you know. So that's that discord. That's that um, that seed that they've sown with that separation of, of family, man. Separation of country. Separation of, because no one here in the Americas are patriotic. I mean, well, you, you got a few. Don't get me wrong. You got that Republican side that still believe that Trump is their president. They patriotic. But the ones that, that's running with Joe Biden and, and the ABCDEFG people, they don't give a shit about this place. They just want their freedoms to do the, the, the shit that they into. Let's get verse. So I'm gonna, let's get some more of this, though. It says these six things do what the Lord hate. So anybody telling you the Lord don't hate. He's all love. He's all love. He's all love. They're a complete damn lie. This right here is telling you these six things that the Lord hate. And um, yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. That's the so-called white man. They even got pride month going on right now. You know, they just had their Memorial Day. They was proud about that. We're proud to be American. All that bullshit. No one can mess with us. No one can touch us. Look at our military. But look at what these, these nations are doing. They calling you out. They intercepted your shit like you were nothing. <laughs> you know? It says, um, a proud look, a lying tongue. We already know he ain't gonna tell no truth. And hands that shed innocent blood. This man has been shedding innocent blood since it's been a nation. And it's not just the U.S. with these so-called white people in the U.S. It's them all over the globe. From your Russians to your Ukraines to your Germans to your French to your all these U, EU European countries, they all shed nothing but blood, man, since they've been in power. Because they're a bloodthirsty race of people, man. It says in heart that devises wicked imagination, and that's what they do. These people sit down all day and calculate how they can destroy and take over somebody's shit, man. Feet that be feet that be swift to run into mischief, that's them. They can never be satisfied. They're all over the earth doing this, man. A false witness that speaketh lies. We already know they false witnesses. They will never tell the truth. Not when it comes to them being the ones that's being pointed out. Why do you think they fight so hard about critical race theory? They don't want uh, 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 their children to know what their forefathers done. They don't want them to know how wicked they are as a race of people. It says, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren see that's the point that i wanted to get and that's what they do they go in they divide and conquer that's one of the things that they've been using for a long long time divide and conquer tactics man it says um what else they got in here china stays committed to a, to the path of peaceful development but we will never hesitate to defend our legitimate rights and interests, let alone sacrifice the nation's core interests. Now, the reason why America hasn't run off in there and tried to do anything with China or tried to do anything with Russia is because they're really fucking cowards. See, they'll go and mess with those third world countries, you know, and those less developed countries and stuff like that. But they're not about to run into China, man, or uh, uh, somebody that's got some nuclear might with them. Russia that's got some nuclear might with them. See? Because it, it, cause, cause it, it, from what they claim, China is their one of their main, main enemies. So why haven't they gone after their enemy? See? That's just, hey, Esau, is, it, they got sense enough not to run up off in there. But it's all about to come down to a point of the clashes, man. These wars, these rumors of wars is getting real. Okay, it says, as the lyrics of a well-known Chinese song go, when friends visit us, we welcome them with fine wine. When jackals or wolves come, we will face them with shotguns. <laughs> in, his, in his speech in the previous day, Austin broadly outlined the U.S. version vision for a free, open, and secure Indo-Pacific within a world of rules and, and rights. Motherfucker, you got the whole entire goddamn ocean system. You can't. Why the fuck do you need to go there? You see what I'm saying? You got all these avenues of travel 
Why do you need to be there in these people's area in their land, man? That's that, that they're not keepers at home. It says in the pursuit of such, also said the U.S. was stepping up planning, coordination, training with friends from the East China Sea to the South China Sea to the Indian Ocean with shared goals to deter aggression and to deepen the rules and norms that promote prosperity and prevent com conflict. The hell out of here. Lee scoffed at the notion, saying some countries take a selective approach to rules and international laws. It's like forcing its own rules on others, he said. Its so-called rules-based international order never tells you what the rules are and who made these rules. Hey, this man, see, this is what I'm saying. As a matter of fact, it's another scripture. Let me see. Um, they talking shit to these people like they ain't nothing. Never would have heard this before. Yeah, Isaiah 14 and 10, it says, All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Because America used to be such a superpower to the point where nobody would say nothing to them. No one would dare do what um, the, the China, China and Russia is doing right now, man. No one would ever do, you know, even North Korea. All these little countries, man. They coming up talking all kinds of shit about the U.S. Like they ain't nothing, man. And this guy, man, he's telling the truth. It says it's like forcing its own rules. OK, it says by contrast, he said we practice multilateralism and pursue win win co cooperation. Lee is under American sanctions that are part of the broad package of measuring of measures against Russia. So see, here you go. You got you, you got you got sanctions on, on, on the fucking people and, and, and talking about peace and prosperity. <laughs> Come on, man, because you don't want them to have no involvement with, with another country. That shit is insane, man. OK, uh, it says the sanctions which broadly prevent Lee from doing business in the United States do not prevent him from holding official talks. American defense officials have said still he refused Austin's invitation to talk on the sidelines of the conference. Though the two did shake hands before sitting down at opposite sides of the same table together as a form open Friday. So you already know, man. Hey, and, and this is a Jake, too, this Austin guy. He's a so-called black man. They have such a distaste for you so-called Negroes anyway because they all look down upon um, Jake, man. The so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, the so-called white man. The so all these nations look down on the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So they looking at this Negro like, man, nah, phew. Fuck the U.S. and especially fuck them if you run the things in your area. <laughs> so it's beautiful, man. It says, um, Austin said that was not enough. A cordial handshake over dinner is not no substitute for substantive engagement. Austin said he don't want to fuck with you. Get the fuck out of here. You sanctioning the guy. He's supposed to just sit down and kick. Don't even want to fucking. Because he already knows that him sitting down kicking it with him not going to change nothing. Here you go. You, you. <laughs> Come on, man. But that lets you know that the so-called white man, he's in rulership. Because he's able to say who can get sanctioned and who can't get sanctioned. And, and his money is moving through the world. And, 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 and it's controlling every damn thing, man. He's able to shut down bank accounts. He's able to lock you out of shit. He's able to, you know, I come, come on, man. It says the U.S. has noted that since 2021, well before Lee became defense minister, China has declined or failed to respond to more than a dozen requests from the U.S. Defense Department to talk with senior leaders, as well as multiple requests for standing dialogues and working level engagements because they already know how you get down. See, one thing, one thing I will say about China, they're, they're pretty astute. You know, they're, they're pretty studied, man. These people, they know, they, they fucking study, man. They know the history of you, 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 um, you white people. They, they understand your history and that your track record is, is trash when it comes to um, um, keeping treaties, you know, keeping um, agreements, respecting agreements. So what's the use in coming to sit down and talk with you? You see what I'm saying? You you know, you want to get in, into our head and want to try and make policies with us that some, no, we're not about to sign no, these people understand, you sign some shit with the U.S., your ass, hey, you, you through. Okay, it says, um, Lee said that China is in open communication between our two countries and also between our two militaries, but without mentioning the sanctions said, exchanges had to be based on mutual respect. 
That is a very fundamental um, principle because they understand America has absolutely no respect for anybody. And that shit is coming back to bite them in the ass because they don't have respect for the people that's down with them. They don't have no respect for their allies. You see? And shit turning up, man. Because I just I was just watching Euro News and they talking about Sweden. You know, now they have met the criteria, you know, because Turkey was kind of like, nah, we don't, I'm not going to sign up for you joining NATO unless you do this, 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 this and this, you know. So now Sweden has actually it said that Sweden changed some of their constitution um, to an extent, you know, to appease the Turkish um, government. You know what I'm saying? So now they had that that pathway into going into NATO. So that would be another country added to NATO that's pretty much in the vicinity of, you know, they're Russia and who they consider to be enemies, so to speak. And they're just adding on, you know, just adding on landmass where they can set up um, weapons and shit, nuclear weapons and silos and all this other stuff, man. So, I mean, this is this shit getting grimy, man. OK, it says um, he said that he recognized that any severe conflict or confrontation between China and the U.S. will be an unbearable disaster for the world. And that the two countries need to find a way to improve relations, saying they were at a record low. And it's going to get lower because this is what, you know, this is your How About Shimia Washai's um, game plan, man. Matter of fact, let's get this. Since we're in Proverbs, let's get another one in here. Uh, what is that? 21 and 1? Yeah, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth whithersoever he whithersoever he will. So the Lord is in control of, of, of these these leaders, man. He's pushing the buttons on these leaders. He's keeping the so-called Chinese um, nation from um, getting together with the U.S. Because that's not prophecy. You know, that, you know, the prophecies is leading up to World War Three. I right, damn it. Things are going to escalate. Things are not going to de-escalate. It's not going to be no de-escalation. This shit is turning up, man. The Lord is turning up out here and he's using these leaders as at, at his will for his purpose, man. China seeks to develop a new type of ma uh, major country relationship with the United States. As for the U U.S. side, it needs to act with sincerity, match its words with deeds and take concrete action together with China to stabilize the relationship and prevent further deterioration, Lee said. So this man, he understands what's going on. And one thing I can't say about those people, they're, they're pretty bold and pretty blunt when it comes to criticizing the U.S. Because a lot of these countries, man, they won't say shit. But a lot more countries are standing up and they're saying shit about the U.S. now. Things that they never would have said before. They're actually out here telling truths about the U.S. And, and, and when I say the U.S., you, this is Babylon, man. This is the main hub for the so-called white man. This is the, the so-called white man ruling. He, the, 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 the rulership, the main rulership or the main force that's being used comes from these Edomites right here in the U.S. of A, man. You see? It's coming from right, right here. And these countries are, 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 are coming together and, and saying enough is enough, man. We, we don't want to use your dollar no more. Every time you put sanctions on one country, it ends up fucking up another country. We don't want nothing to do, do with you, man. Because the U.S. is a powerhouse, man. But it's, it's slowly dwindling, man. It's slowly deteriorating. And the so-called white man, he's, 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 he's about to come with great wrath. Because when he falls off, he's taking everything down with him if he can. <laughs> it's that simple, man. But, you know. Like I said again, man, hey, this thing is going down. Be on the, um, you know, keep your head on a swivel out here. Continue on praying for the downfall, first off, of America, because this is a downfall for them, man. I love it. You know that scripture, uh, Ecclesiastes 25 and 7, where it talks about a man being happy or seeing the downfall of his enemies. Man, we're, we're very happy to see the downfall of our enemies, man. And to you, you Negroes that's running around out here, you're going to celebrate Fourth of July. The Lord going to kill your ass, man. He's going to knock your ass off. You better get away from the enemy because these people are not your friends. And why are you celebrating with the oppressor when our people was deep into slavery during 1776? But Jacob go out here and parted at everything. So watch how, you know, when, when, when the turn up goes down, look at the Memorial Day weekend, how many people got killed. How many mass shootings there were. Man, it's going to be terrible on 4th of July, too. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.